So today here we have the iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah, on the front of the box, you can see the phone and how it looks. This is the graphite, the same color on the box is the same phone inside. And um, on the sides, we have the Apple logo here on the downside. On the right side, we have iPhone written here. And then um, on the top, we have another logo. And on the left side, we have iPhone written here. On the back, we have the the phone name is the iPhone 13 Pro, designed by Apple in California. And uh, I think what's in the box is written and a few things about the phone is written here. And then on the bottom side, we have the, the name of the phone, the model number. We have the size, this is the 128 gigabyte version. And we have the IMEI ICC ID code and a few other details on the back. So we're gonna open this and see what's inside. So right in the box, we are greeted with the phone. So pretty. And um, we can outrightly see that the camera is bigger than that of the 12 Pro. Yeah. So right on the side, we can see the back is glass, front is glass, and uh, the side of the front is aluminum, just like the 12 Pro. The main differences between this phone and then the 12 Pro is that we have bigger camera sensors at the back, slightly better processor. Um, it's this, this is the A15 Bionic 5 nanometer chip, and then the 12 Pro came with an A14 Bionic 5 nanometer chip. It comes with eight, um, 6 gig RAM in both the 13 and then the 12 pro this has a 120 hertz display the 12 pro has a 60 hertz display and this has a peak brightness of 1200 nits whilst the 12 pro also has a peak brightness of 1200 nits but normal brightness is 1000 nits on this so this is slightly brighter than the 12 pro so the main differences between this and the 12 Pro is that this has a better display. This 120 hertz display, the 12 Pro has 60 hertz display. This is slightly heavier. This weighs at 204 grams, while the 12 Pro weighs at 189 grams. This has slightly better camera performance. The sensors are bigger, but they are the same 12 megapixel cameras and this comes in an extra color, that's the green color. The battery also in the 13 Pro is slightly bigger than that of the 12 Pro. The 13 Pro has a 30, 30,095 mAh battery, while the 12 Pro has a 2,815 mAh battery. Aside these few differences, the phones pretty look the same and feels the same. Should you get this over there, 12 Pro, if um, you are concerned about battery performance, brighter display, and slightly, probably not noticeable um, processing performance, then you should get the 12 Pro. Oh, and one thing, the 13 Pro comes with a one terabyte version, while the 12 Pro ends at 512 gigabyte. So the 13 Pro Max was released in September 2021 and it's been a year already. The phone that existed before that was the 12 Pro or the 12 series and um, the 13 series was an upgrade to the 12 series and which we've talked about in this video. Also, I just want to give a quick difference between the, the 13 Pro and the 14 Pro so the main difference is that the 14 pro is slightly bigger than the 13 pro the 14 pro is slightly heavier than the 13 pro and the um, the 14 pro in the us it doesn't come with a sim version it's all uh, e-sims the next difference is the display the 14 pro, pro goes up to a peak brightness of 2000 nits 
while the 13 pro goes up to a peak brightness of 1200 nits the resolution is also slightly higher the 14 pro is um an 1179 by 2556 pixels while the 13 pro is 1170 by 2532 pixels the 14 pro has always on display which the 13 pro does not the 14 pro has a better cpu a16 bionic chipset which is four nanometer the 13 pro comes with the a15 bionic which is five nanometer the 14 pro has the same ram as the 13 pro which is 6 gig ram now to the camera the 14 pro has a 48 megapixel wide camera which the, the 13 pro just has a 12 megapixel so that's a huge leap in camera performance the sensors are also bigger so you'll see on the 13 pro and the 14 pro a significant camera size difference the next major difference is the battery the, th the 14 pro has a slightly bigger battery that's 3200 mah while the 13 pro has 3095 mah so those are the major differences not so much of a huge leap um from the 13 to the 14 but quite a significant leap from the 12 to the 13 should you buy the 14 over the 13 now if you care about the always on display which drains your battery if you care about the dynamic island this is not so different from the the old cut out at the top of the screen and if you care about the higher screen brightness then you should go for the 14 pro these things are not really significant for me but i think um to some people it would be but the 14 the 13 pro can do basically everything that the 14 can do apart from always on display and a few differences in the camera cameras like the stabilization the video stabilization in the 14 pro it's way 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 better and then the the cinematic mode is also better in the 14 pro so those are the main differences between the 13 pro and the 14 pro so this about it with the 13 pro iphone it's pretty decent it's pretty sleek it's pretty swift to use you can feel the 120 hz display and something that i strongly recommend